Hey guys, and welcome to the tutorial series for the Animal Behavior Kit. In this video, we'll be taking a look at the Growing Old system. We're actually going to create a few other animals. We are going to create a young version of our deer, and we're actually going to look at the different settings for the Growing Old component. So if we go ahead and jump over to Unreal, if, we're following, if you've been following the videos uh, sequentially, right, in order, you'll know that the last video we looked at groups. So this is exactly where we left off. Now, if you didn't see the video, don't worry. You don't have to know anything that we talked about in the previous video. So the first thing we'll do is we are going to delete uh, all of the animals except for one and we are going to delete our group manager from our level. We don't need that anymore. Uh, in, in addition, once you select your animal, look under components. We wanna make sure that we delete uh, any of the components. And in this case, uh, I have already added it, uh, but let's go ahead and just do it uh, together. So uh, make sure that all of the components are have deleted and the need system is actually deactivated. Uh, and actually, even before adding the growing old component, let's go and create young versions of our uh, deer. So if we go back to um, blueprints, the uh, animal behavior kit blueprints, go to characters, animals, ground animals, and notice that we have a folder called tutorial and we have a doe and a bear. So we actually want uh, to create a young version of the doe and a male version of a deer or a buck. So all we're going to do just to make our lives easier is go to prey and we're going to clone. Uh, first, let's clone the, the male uh, deer. Right click and hit on duplicate and we're going to call it BP underscore buck underscore tutorial. And we're going to go ahead and move this guy over to tutorial. Move. And we are going to do the same thing for female young and male young. Um, right click, duplicate. And for the female, we're going to rename. Oops. We are going to rename BP uh, young doe underscore tutorial whoops and here BP underscore young buck underscore tutorial okay and we're going to select those two and again move them to our tutorial folder that way we have everything uh, nice and neat here so let's go ahead and just double check and open our buck and when we do that, we know that automatically we see that we have a bunch of systems here by default, and we actually don't want any of these yet. So let's go ahead and delete these guys and compile. And let's go ahead uh, and open the dough and also delete the need system. We don't need this anymore. So I'll go ahead and delete. And let's go and open the young, young buck. And uh, notice that all this is, is a scaled down version of the mesh. So I took the exact same mesh and I scaled it by half, 0 0.5, 0 0.5, 0 0.5. And then I um, resized the, uh, the capsule collision, right? I, you can do the height and the half height to compensate. Obviously, in a real game, if you have a different mesh for the young version of your animal, obviously do that. But in this case, all I did was scale the mesh down uh, to a smaller version just to uh, get the point across. Same thing with the young doe. If I open and I go to the viewport, is the exact same thing, right? So I think we're set up. Uh, now, the, the last thing I will mention is that um, we already have, by default, because we cloned this animal, 
the component grow old. As you can see here, young buck and young doe already have the component added. So we can actually go ahead and leave those there. Uh, but normally, if, if you were creating this from scratch, you would then click on add component and type grow, and you would add BP comp grow old, right? And all this is, is one of the most simple components is going to make sure that this young animal grows uh, old, grows into an adult after a set amount of time. That is all there is to it. So, okay. So if we go back to our PowerPoint, we've now created a version of our young animal uh, for the doe, and we've actually created a male uh, in a, a, a buck and a young buck as well. Uh, and this is all in preparation for also the next video where we're going to be taking a look at the breeding system. So this is kind of a, a little bit of prep work that, uh, that we need to do anyway. So, all right. So instead of doing any, actually what we're going to do, let's go ahead and delete the dough from our level here. And we are going to drag our young dough to the level. BP young dough. And uh, if we go ahead and look at the component, grow old, click on grow old, you'll see that we have a few options here. The first option is whether again, this component is active or not. Then we have min growth time and max growth time. This is in seconds. So in other words, this is a timer. Uh, what this is going to do is on begin play, It'll pick a random value between the min and the max, and that amount in seconds will be the time that, th that it'll take for the young version of this NPC or this animal to grow into the older version or the adult version of that animal. And the adult version of the animal, as you can see here, uh, takes in a class. And by default, this class is BP Prey Deer Female. But in this case, we actually want BP underscore doe underscore tutorial. So if you click on the doe uh, class here on your um, um, on the um, file browser here, and we click on this little arrow here, you'll see now that the adult animal is actually BP doe tutorial for um, for her. So you know what, let's go ahead and do it on the class. That way uh, we don't have to do this again. So click on a uh, young buck. If you had it open, go to comp grow old. And for the, uh, for the adult animal, we want BP young buck tutorial. That's the class for the adult for this guy. Go ahead and compile. And for the young though, click on comp grow old the class of the adult animal for this animal is going to be BP young doe underscore tutorial. All right. And we can click on follow parent as the default. Doesn't really matter. We're going to compile. And now when we go to our level and we click on comp grow old, we already have the right adult class. But again, the idea is very simple. This young version of the NPC will take X amount of time, a random value between min and max. And when it reaches that time in seconds, it'll basically re, uh, replace itself with this new class, BP Doe Tutorial, which is the new adult um, um, Doe. So in this case, let's, uh, let's actually make this a little shorter for the sake of tutorial. Let's make this between 20 seconds and 30 seconds again we're short for time um, so we just want to um, make sure that we uh, do that okay and in this case we're going to deselect follow parent because if we want it if we want this animal the young animal to follow a parent we have to pass it a parent reference here and since we don't have a parent we're not going to do that so uh, if we go back to the uh, the top level here we are going to make sure that the engaged behavior is ignore so we can actually observe it. And this animal is going to go to a random location in NavMesh. So click on play and I'm going to maximize here. Uh, 
Where did it go? Oh, <laughs> there it is. So we're going to be following this young doe here. And between 20 to 30 seconds, it should change to the adult version of the doe. So we're just going to keep an eye out for it. Oh, and there you go. It automatically changed to the adult version. Now keep in mind that whatever default behavior you had for this class will be in effect. Because effectively what this is doing is basically spawning the adult uh, version of the class. So whatever behavior you had for the class that you reference here, that is the behavior that you'll, that you'll see, right? So make sure that whatever reference you have here has the behavior that you want, okay? All right, very good. Um, that's pretty much it, right? Uh, that's the gist of it. Um, and the same thing if I get a young buck, the exact same thing will happen, right? If we go to comp gold, you'll have a range and you'll have the, it'll change to the adult being young buck. That's all. Uh, the follow parent, we're actually going to see this option uh, in, a, in another video where we're going to look at the breeding system and the breeding system will automatically set these values for um, the young animals that are actually uh, born, right? Uh, so you'll see that behavior play out better. So I'd rather just leave that for that video. But again, that's all there is to it. Comp Grow Old is a very simple component is basically a timer, and when the timer expires, it'll actually spawn an adult version of that animal and despawn the young version of the animal. That is it. All right, guys, thanks a lot for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.